We both lie silently still in the dead of the night Although we both lie close together We feel miles apart inside Was it something I said or something I did? Did my words not come out right? No, I tried not to hurt you No, I tried But I guess that's why they say Every rose has its friend Just like every night Has its dawn Just like every cowboy Sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its dawn She said love's a game of easy come and easy go But I wonder does he know Has there ever been like this And I know that you would be here right now If I could let you know somehow I guess every rose has its thorn Just like every night as it's dawn, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. Like no one made the yard. This is a man's world. 
Okay, guys, you just heard uh, transparent opus loom, transparent opus speaker cables, transparent XL generation 6 interconnects, transparent opus power cords on my D on my MSB Select 2 DAC. The DAC is plugged into the wall in order to eliminate any potential help from my strong tank 5000 power conditioner. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to stand up without moving the camera, without cutting the video, and I'm going to replace the cables before your very eyes. And I am going to insert my cable line authentic audio images. Now keep in mind, the cables will be dead cold, okay? I'm literally going to grab them and insert them. The transparent cables you just heard have been playing for approximately 24 hours, uh, close to 30 hours, non-stop, straight through, okay? And they are cables that are broken in, okay? They're not brand new, fresh cables out of the box. So let me move around the room. You guys are going to witness um, the process right now, okay? I'm not going to touch the camera, so hopefully uh, you can see me do the work. Here I go. I'm going to turn the light on. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. All right, uh, I'm going to turn the amps off. Here's my cable. Turning the cables, turning the, um, I'm going to insert my Asoluto top of the line AAI authentic audio image cable that I represent that I'm the sole US distributor for. Okay, so you're going to see it now. <coughs> Let me get the, uh, I need to get the wrench to un undo the cables on the back of the Wilsons because they're very tight. So, 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 so full transparency, okay, I'm getting this so I can undo the cables. All right, I'm undoing a left speaker. guys are seeing it hopefully you can see on camera putting my cables front and center they are directional by the way so you got to look at the arrows um, in which they go okay so here's the transparent okay you see it I unplugged it now I'm plugging in my authentic audio image cables this cable, by the way, MSRP is for, uh, depending on the length, but about six grand MSRP. Okay, so a lot less than the $40,000 transparent Opus. Okay, I'm plugging in, get, bear with me guys. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the other end. There's no tricks here, there's no like trickery or malicious, you know, um, nothing malicious going on, okay? S saying, all I'm doing is put it in my cables and tighten them down, okay? All right, okay, so there is the first one. Once again, Transparent is off. All right. Now, I'm going to undo my transparent XLRs. See them right here? I'm going to remove it. Removing it. I'm just going to throw it on the side for now. And I'm going to insert. This is my my Stoso, which is the middle, the middle cable, the middle of the pack, not the most expensive one. This is the middle, okay, the middle child. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it into the back of the boulder. Okay, there's one. And now I'm gonna go into the back of the preamplifier. Okay, so this side is done and complete. 
Now I'm going to go to the other side. Do the same thing. <clears throat> it's going to be a great exercise for you guys to understand what my cable line does. Okay, here it is, transparent, completely off. I'm just gonna have to set it here for now. It's not ideal, but I think you guys need to see my cables in action. So ideally I should get the cables out of the way and avoid any potential interference. Yeah, that's ideal. But for this particular exercise, I want to just get things rolling for you guys, okay? So, plugging it in. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to the back of my Wilsons. One cable down. Tightening things down right now, guys. Sorry for the delay, but got to keep things. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is transparent. Out. XLR Okay Okay, so my outs now I'm not done Transparent from my DAC to my emit to my uh, power to my preamplifier. Okay? Same thing. Transparent XL generation 6 interconnects right here. So now I'm going to connect my cables for the source. Okay? So I'm going to do one by one. The right channel first. Okay. Left channel next. All right. Okay. Let me do just one check to make sure everything is cool, nothing's loose. Oh, hold on. Forgot. Oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> My apologies. I need to remove the power cords. Look, transparent opus, power cords, my DAC, okay, I'm going to grab my cable line, okay, I'm going to remove it from my strum tank, see them? Now I'm going to plug him into the wall, 
just the way my transparent cables were. So I'm going into the wall guys. Dedicated outlet into the wall. Okay, cable one is on. Okay, perfect. It's all done. I'm not touching the volume. I'm not doing anything, okay? I'm gonna record. I'm just gonna turn on my DAC. Okay, turning on my MSB DAC. And here we go. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. The, uh, sorry, the, the light, not the volume. The light. Okay, turning on the light to get the mood going. And we're gonna push play on the same songs. No trickery of any kind. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My amps need to be on. My apologies. Come on, come on, come on, guys. My audience is waiting. All right. Perfect. Here we go. Song number one. Change this one. All cables, fresh, you saw them, they're, they're cold. Power inside Was it something I said Something I did Did my words not come out right No, I tried Not to hurt you No, I tried But I guess that's why They say every rose Has its thumb Just like every night Has its dawn like every cowboy 
It's easy to say, say it's all. Every rose has its thorn. Favorite song playing on the radio. Where the DJ says he loves a game of easy come and easy go. But I wonder, does he know? Has it ever been like this? And I know that you would be here right now if I could let you know somehow I can't hear the road. Just like every night has its dawn Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song Comment below, give me your impressions You guys are hearing a cable that's far less money Dead cold
tricks on you okay so you heard my transparent opus loom generation 5 speaker cables and generation 6 xl interconnects along with the transparent opus generation 5 uh, power cords i literally swapped the cables in front of your own eyes these cables by the way were in the system for at least 30 hours playing music non-stop i left them on all night long my cables are dead cold. Pulled them out, inserted them, and I had no shame in letting you guys hear what the cables can do. And I promise you they're going to get better as time passes. Just for your own knowledge, okay, I had, I think this is about 80000 for the for the cables that I use from Transparent. MSRP. I'm talking MSRP prices. MSRP prices. About eighty grand. My cables... I think it's about $3,700 for the XLRs because I'm using the middle of the road, not the top XLR, mind you. You did not hear the top XLR. It's about $3,700 right there. My speaker cables are about 58, 59, depending on the length for a two meter. And then you got the power cords for around, more or less the same for a two meter, about six grand. So two power cords, that's $12,000. And then you got the uh, speaker cables, another six, that's 18. And you got about seven grand in the XLRs, that's 25 grand. $25,000 MSRP against $80,000 MSRP. You're hearing a $1.2 million system. So this is a very revealing system with some of the greatest amplifiers, in my opinion, in existence today, along with perhaps the best line stage in the world. Again, my opinion, $349,000 Wilsons. So, at this point, we know my system is up there when it comes to resolution, when it comes to transparency, when it comes to letting us hear everything that you're putting into it. You heard the difference. It's clearly marked the difference between an $80,000 Luma cables and my $25,000 authentic audio image cable line. If you can hear it, okay, in a system like this and you see how it performs on a system of this caliber, guys, a system that is absolutely phenomenal, I'm gonna tell you, you should have absolutely no reservations of any kind when it comes to using my cables, okay, in your own system, in your own system, because I believe that you're gonna get exceptional results as well, and you don't have to break the bank at all. You don't have to break the bank. Um, a case could be made as to, you know, maybe perhaps transparent cables might have been doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, more of this, more of that. That's debatable. I think we heard my cables dead cold. So 
I think a better assessment would have been if I would have had my cable loom in here for at least 24 to 30 hours playing music the same way I did with my transparent cables. But I think you get a very good idea that for the money, for the money, it's a hard cable to beat. My cable can go up against cables that are far more money and hold its own. So if you're out there thinking that you need to spend, you know, $100,000, $200,000 on cables, maybe you have the money to burn it, go ahead, be my guest, you know, suit yourself and go ahead and continue to do that. But when I got out and I wanted to find a cable line that really competed against the heavy hitters, I compared a lot of different cables and I went back to my AAI cable line over and over and over again. I got a lot of people that follow me with great systems, with magical, my uh, magical S7s, magical S3 NK2s. Uh, I have someone in Brazil too with um, a magical M3 using my cable line. I got someone in um, in Ukraine as well. Like, uh, I mean, I got so many people all over the world using my cable line because of my recommendation. And today, the, pur the purpose of this video was to just let you hear with your own years, without any trickery, without any snake oil of any kind, the differences, okay? What my cable is bringing to the table through a crazy transparent system. Believe me, this system is going to highlight the differences. It's going to sort them out for you and let you hear what really is going on. You heard it. So now, if you are looking for cables for your system, I urge you to consider my cable line. I just demonstrated that to you. Stop burning your money. It is a rabbit hole. You are going to, instead of spending 100,000 on cables, how about you spend a third of that and then use the rest, the other 70 grand, to improve other aspects of your system. Maybe your music server, maybe maybe get a music server with that. Maybe get the uh, network switch. Maybe get, you know, isolation devices, great stands. That's what you need to do. I'm trying to make sure you understand that. I've done it before. I've done it a million times, okay? I've gone to the top of the mountain. This is the best system I've owned. And I'm sharing my journey with you all so that you can also learn a thing or two. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this raw footage of a comparison between two of my cables, two different cable brands. It is up to you to decide which way you wanna go. I know where I'm going. Hopefully you follow me and continue to like this type of content going forward. Um, I appreciate the support, the likes, and if you want to see more videos like this, comparing things like this, raw, uncut, please subscribe and hit that like button. And I promise you, I will keep doing this with other things. Thank you for your support. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.